hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to upload this video because if you are watching this video like maybe now when i upload it, it is like three months before all the process all the interviews are gonna be made but if you're watching this by the time that the interview is gonna be made is because you already passed the test you already passed the application selection so congratulations and today let's talk about the interview so let's start <laughs> you watch my videos my name is Veronica I'm from Costa Rica and I studied in Japan for five years with the MES scholarship I have been making videos about all this process because I want people to get informed about this kind of scholarships I made it in Spanish and I'm making it in English as well so today is gonna be about the interview how people get selected and what happened after I mean when are you going to Japan and all of these things all this process usually takes like many months like almost a year like you start applying from april and you actually go to japan the next april so i just want you to have that in mind if you don't want to apply this year and you want to apply next year just want you to give your hands up that this process is not like a quick process it takes time it takes a lot of papers a lot of interviews and tests so just be ready for that and good luck so let's start with the interview. The interview I have in here, like actually the application form of last year, so I can actually give you guys some tips. The interview will be like if it's in my case, I went and they have like a table with many people sitting in the other side and you're sitting in this side and they will make you questions. They can be making you question in English or in the language that you speak in your home country. So the first thing that I want to recommend to you is which clothes to wear for this interview. Some people think like when you go to this kind of interviews is not as important. So they wear like normal clothes, like casual clothes. But actually it's really important to go like with formal or semi-formal clothes because for Japanese people like the image that you are bringing is like really important and they will see that since you enter to the door. So I really recommend you to use some semi-formal or formal clothes for this interview and give a really good impression of yourself since the moment that you enter in the door. For girls, I recommend to use like a really like casual, like really normal, like makeup, don't put like so much color or all of this, like go like really like I don't know professional to this interview the hairstyle i recommend you know like mine that is like up here but instead in here like in the middle of your head for guys i recommend you to have your hairstyle really good even if you have the long hair just go with a good present for this interview okay and now let's start with some of the questions that they may ask the Questions like maybe like simple questions like your name or your address and all of this information that you already submit in the application form. I already have it in here from last year. So I want to like just tell you guys what they may be asking you from your application form. So you actually like make this the best answer you will ever have. In here, I have the application form from last year which I already put the link in the part one and also in the part two in case you guys are watching this video early. And one of the questions that they make is like when you select, you have to select two majors, as I already explained in the past videos, and they ask you to specify the reasons why you selected each field of study and subject in the section 14. That was for last year and this was exactly the same as the one that I feel like i don't know how many years ago like five or more, almost six years ago or seven wow it's a long time ago but it's the same so this is a really important question because for example if you are studying architecture and you're gonna get a scholarship to study architecture they have to know like that you are actually sure why you are studying that subject in general so actually made this answer if you know japanese like 
practice it in Japanese. If you don't know, practice it in your like mother language or in English. These two, mother language and English, is really important because I'm pretty sure that they're going to ask questions in English as well. So they can know if you can actually communicate with people when you go in there. The other question that is really important that is also in your application form is what was the trigger for having an interest in Japan? So in this, like they may ask this question exactly as they wrote it in here or they can ask like, for example, uh, why do you choose Japan over your country to go and study this? So, uh, for example, if you live in the United States and you are choosing one career that is really popular in the most like famous universities in the United States, like Harvard University or all these kind of universities, and you have like a really good grades and all of this, and you're applying for a scholarship in Japan, but you wanna go in, and when you answer in the interview that you wanna go in, you study, I don't know, Tohoku University, like the level of education is gonna be different. So they are gonna be like a little bit eccentric about it, and they are gonna ask you, why do you choose Japan over United States? If you already had a chance to study in a good university, the same career in the United States. So you have to make sure you have like a really clear idea of what triggered your interest in Japan and why you are actually selecting Japan over other countries. Then there is also one interesting question that is like, what kind of things do you think you can contribute to Japan and your home country through your experience studying in Japan? This question I think is the most important one and I'm like 90% sure that they are gonna make you this question in your country. So this question is extremely important, I think, because with the answer, they can actually choose you or they can actually not choose you to go to Japan in the interview process. Because you have to make sure you have a really like clear and honest idea of what you're gonna contribute in your country after you return from Japan. Even though the scholarship is gonna be granted from the Japanese government, your country is helping you to get there. So you have to make sure to bring like a really good international relationship between Japan and your home country. And after you return from Japan, you don't have to pay anything to the Japanese government, but instead you're gonna be making relationships in your country with Japan. And also you're gonna be helping your country with all the knowledge that you are acquired in Japan. So for example, and um, I'm gonna give you an example of an answer. And it's like, if you study architecture and they ask you this question, you can say like when you go to your home country, in my case, Costa Rica, you can say that you are gonna help Costa Rica with the technology in a structure design, for example. In my case, I study in the Tokyo Polytechnic University and they have like a really good wind tunnel test area. So in Costa Rica, they don't have that. So I can say that I, when I go to Costa Rica, I'm gonna implement all the knowledge that I acquired in that wind tunnel. And I'm gonna help in Costa Rica with all the future constructions and all of this. So in your field, what are you gonna do to help your country? And they will also make different questions. As I said, they will make you in English or in Japanese, if you know Japanese and in your home language. So like i recommend you to really be honest in the interview process the interview is not difficult but they are gonna choose from here if they want to recommend you or they not want to recommend you to japan so now let's talk about how they were to recommend you to japan in order to get the scholarship so you already passed the process of giving the documents, the giving the test and the interview. After you do the interview, if you pass, at least in Costa Rica, I know that they will ask you to do the medical test, which I'm gonna be giving you guys the last year medical test. I'm gonna be putting down there in the description box so you can actually see how it is. It was exactly the same as the one that I did years ago. Some countries actually may require you to present all this medical check before with the application form and some countries may, may say that you can actually give it 
after you are like selected from the interview. I know that in Costa Rica they like ask me after I pass the interview because the medical check is expensive and it may take time. Some some countries they just don't want you to pass through all of that if you don't have a chance to go to Japan. So when you complete this like medical check and they know that you are really healthy and you can go to Japan, they will see who has the best scores from the test, from the interview and from all the application that you already submitted in the beginning and they will send like a score to Japan. So this is gonna be the first like selection. So they will tell you that they you are already selected to go to Japan and you will have to wait until December to actually get the answer from the government. The government of Japan is gonna choose the best scores from every field and they will have like, I don't know how many open spots per field, but I know that there are so many people that get this scholarship per year and I'm not actually sure of how many actually get the scholarship or no. I know that in my year, like, we got like three girls recommended and the three of us actually went to japan so japan is gonna choose from that and they will let you know in the beginning of december or through all the month and then you have to travel to japan in april in the first week of april and on the same time you're gonna start your scholarship so that was all for today i hope i help you i hope my three videos for the, all this process of the scholarship were helpful for you and I wish you the best luck in this process. I hope you get the scholarship and you travel to Japan and you enjoy this really good opportunity. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down and leave me some comments. Let me know how do you think it was this video if you need extra information if you need some more specific things that I can help you with and I don't know that's all thank you bye